Let's talk a little bit about saving your genetics and why should you save your genetics? Um, after you have your first harvest, you can clone, tissue clone, and then um, propagate that. Um, why would you do that? Because you take your best specimens, um, which would be, we've talked about this before, clustered together. So you have a real nice big cluster with big healthy uh, uh, fruit. You clone from that and when you propagate that on agar and then um, grow that those genetics, you will get more of what you clone. You will get um, more clusters, better looking um, fruit. And the good thing about cloning and then propagating on agar and, and, and keeping those genetics is that you are propagating the exact same genetics. You are getting more of what you like. You're not just hoping to get something good. Um, if when you look at my videos, you'll see I'm always raving about, whoa, look at these clusters. Because when I started, my biggest cluster was two mushrooms together like that. Um, then later on three, and and as I kept um, uh, cloning and 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 cloning those better clusters and better looking. Um, uh, fruit um, and saving those genetics, saving it on agar, saving it in liquid culture, um, that type of thing, um, you end up knowing what you're going to get and you end up getting really good looking mushrooms um, and healthy mushrooms. And, and, and also you get a mycelium that grows uh, faster, stronger, healthier um, because you, you've you kept cleaning it up and cloning from better and better um, uh, fruit. For example, let's say you get your first little cluster and then you clone that and then that gives you better, bigger clusters, better looking fruit, then you clone that and you make liquid culture from that, you put it on agar, all these things. And um, you keep doing that until you get to a point where you've got these really good genetics that grow really fast, real aggressive. So it's not just for looks, it's also because it'll grow a lot um, stronger, faster, I'll compete anything that may be trying to compete it. Here's how you can do it. Um, you let's say you, you clone some tissue, you put it on agar, and then you um, propagate that, and then use that to inoculate grain. Um, then from the harvest, you could get even better looking fruit, and you want to clone that. If it's pretty much the same, then you can just continue propagating your agar. Um, and you already have a jar of liquid culture that's going to last you a long time. Um, the other beauty of liquid culture is that, let's say you're, you're running a bit low, you can get some of that liquid culture, stick it into a new jar, and that keeps uh, growing. Um, you can't do this forever, it'll, it'll get senescence, it'll get old, uh, just like we do, and it, it'll come a time where you won't get as much fruit anyway, or the liquid culture is not going to grow so well. But this is why you just keep the cycle going. Then you will get some another very good looking cluster, clone that and keep going. Clone it, put it in agar, liquid culture, all that good stuff. Now here's something that um, uh, a lot of people don't think about which is using grain, just using your rice or your popcorn or whatever grain you're using, um, your grain spawn, use that to save your genetics. 
So you have, uh, let's say, a, a Ziploc bag uh, of beautiful uh, colonized uh, mycelium, right? You can take a little bit of that and put it in a Ziploc and save it in the fridge. And that'll last a long time. Um, because um, colonized rice is very stable. It's very resistant to contamination. Um, and when you put it in the refrigerator, it just goes dormant. And you have that beautiful colonized rice with, with perfect mycelium and you can save it there for a long time. Um, the other great thing about uh, saving that is that then later on you can take a, another a Ziploc, dump your rice in there, take a little bit of that and start your propagation again. Remember that one little bag of rice can colonize and inoculate and colonize 10 bags. So you can keep going. Again, uh, some people say you shouldn't do it for more than four or five times. Um, some people have done it for 10 times without a problem. I don't know exactly what the limit is, but again, you will know that if you keep um, propagating the same uh, rice, the same mycelium from the same rice bag that you started with, you will uh, see it not colonize as much. Uh, you won't get a full canopy. You won't get uh, such healthy looking uh, mushrooms. So it has its limits, but um, it's a great way to save your genetics uh, on rice. Um, healthily inoculated uh, grain with a beautiful mycelium on it will last a long time. Here's the thing, I know people that buy a liquiculture syringe, inoculate with that, have their grow, harvest, and then order another liquiculture syringe. That makes no sense to me. Um, the least you could do is, is grab that liquiculture syringe, like I've, you've seen me do, inoculate a big jar of liquid culture and multiply that by a lot. Um, so the whole point of this video is to get you thinking on bettering your genetics, your mycelium, saving it. And uh, like, like I said, all these little tricks, use all these little tricks to save those genetics, uh, keep it in your fridge. Also, you can just inoculate with just part of that liquiculture syringe in, in just one bag, one rice bag, one grain bag, and then save the rest and you keep propagating this. And then you have that liquiculture uh, syringe in the fridge for later use if something happens uh, with, with uh, your genetics that you're growing. But there's no reason not to work hard on, on evolving your genetics to make them better. And there's no reason at all not to propagate your own genetics. And, and, and like I said, using all those things that I mentioned, just keep that uh, either in liquid culture or in grain or in agar, however it is. Of course, spore prints, we've talked about this, but you should aim to be self-sufficient. And the most important thing, thrive to get better and better genetics and keep them and save them uh it, it, it's your bank um so that that's my message for today is just save your genetics make better and better genetics and save them um hope this helps